Jackie Wolf here. You're a kind of odd YouTuber that's recently returned to making videos. Anyways, uh, along from the uh, background being Garrison Archangel footage, where I get my ass mostly kicked, um, the Mech Warrior 5 controversy is what we're going to be talking about today. And apparently, apparently, good old Russ Bullock may have broken a few laws in a few countries. Uh, currently, there are mech fans in the EU, the UK, Canada, the United States, all claiming that they have grounds to start a, a class action lawsuit. And this could be the end of PGI as we know it. Uh, that being said, there are also people apparently going to Microsoft and asking them to pull the plug on this particular thing because this is not a good thing that being said um allow me to pull up the uh next article if it'll pull up this i just got in across uh fuck I say that and it gets pulled. Uh, technical difficulties, boys and girls. Apparently, it 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 had to it it had, to, uh, it, it had to, to to do things. Uh, bugs found on the Epic Sky or site allowed hackers to log into any Fortnite player's account. Now, when they say a bug, basically, it's done with the social media interactions. You know, the uh, the login through Google or Facebook stuff or Xbox Live. But it can allow you to or to connect to any Epic Game Store account. And it also potentially means that your credit card data and all of that's in the hands of a hacker. Now, I'm not going into exactly how it does because that would be promoting something illegal, and I'm not about that. But this is just to show you an issue. Of course, that being said, <laughs> an exploit that's left a bunch of, oh wait, that's me, th yeah. <laughs> see that was the other thing that I kind of thought was funny about this article it's because if you scroll down there's this article right here that was done May 2018 but it could be the way I'm reading the internet these days so um, yeah no that being said at least Steam's working on their back end. I don't get a feeling that Epic is working on their back end at all. I look at their Trillo page every once in a while because, you know, people talk about Epic mostly as a negative company. But the Epic Game Store or Game Site store, whichever, because it's all the same thing. One's just an app for the other. It just goes to show you they care very little about you. They also care very little about your money, your security, and they probably should, honestly. So, yeah, there's th there's massive issues there. And, you know, couple that with the fact that mm, Mech Warrior fans are looking into suing PGI. They're looking into destroying the brand just because there is a possibility that there are lawsuits abound. Of course, I don't believe they'll actually see fruition because, let's face it, developers get away with being dicks. Publishers get away with being dicks. And I don't want to focus on the negatives for too long. However, I just got done watching a video by my friend Kibbs, and he pointed out a stretch goal with this particular thing that I want to see removed, honestly. 
and I'll have to get to it. Normally, I have this stuff set up uh, beforehand, but where, where is it at? Um, normally, I have all this done beforehand, but I decided I would go ahead and uh, start recording this video and didn't even think about it. All right. First off, CGL, just stop with the stretch goals, guys. I know the game's booming, but, you know, I, I, this, this particular stretch goal right here, um, the 1,370, the $1,375,000 stretch goal, Mech Warrior 5 Unleashed, Randall Bills and Brent Evans will team up with Russ Bullock. And another team member from Prana Games for several four player co op missions live stream in the hotly anticipated Mech Warrior 5 computer game. I I think that's in poor taste, and that could honestly hurt your company right now with as upset as people are at uh, Russ Bollock. And yeah. Other than that, that's the only thing that I see wrong with your thing. I wish you would slow down on the stretch goals because you may stretch yourself a little too thin. Um, I, I'm really hoping that some of the... Uh, um, I, I really... <laughs> I, I'm really glad that this game's doing real well. So, you know. Um... Uh, and for those of you looking for an alternative, and I've already done a video on one of these, and I've been playing the other ones for years, uh, if you're looking for an alternative to Mech Warrior, you don't want to support PGI. And I can completely understand that. I, I'm not calling for a boycott because th that's not how I roll. I mean, I have friends that are calling for a boycott. I've severed ties with several companies lately. Uh, yeah, but if you're looking for a bit of alternative to MechWarrior Online, there's always MechWarrior Living Legends. I play Living Legends. It's um uh, actually it's a very good game. It's fairly solid if you can get it to work. Uh, if you have problems with their game, their community Discord is a very good place to ask for tech support questions. And yeah, they're always working towards making it a better game and it's completely community driven, which makes it an even nicer place. If you're looking for that single player old school mech warrior experience, there's an indie game by the name of Mech Work Company. Uh, it's not feature rich yet. It does have customization options and it does feel really good. I, I will give the dev that it feels amazingly good. In fact, I, I play it every once in a while when I'm waiting for uh, something to update or, and I mean, I will get lost in just playing the same missions over and over again, trying out different mechs, trying out different combinations. Uh, I did a short video on it. I, I probably, because I'm an idiot, won't remember to put that in with it. Um, but yeah, if if you really want something um, amazing, uh, that that's uh, that's the thing right there. All right, guys, I've been Wirewolf, and I'm getting a little delirious over all this, even hitting wrong buttons. Um, until next time, have fun, enjoy yourselves, and remember, don't support bad people. <laughs> Bye.